Breaking details for us this noon. Thank you for that report. And now to our other breaking story that we're following for you. This one, a partial collapse in the Logan neighborhood of Philadelphia. And you can see from Chopper 3, bricks are missing from the top floors of the apartment building. Those bricks now in the street. Now, just before the collapse, there were reports that some of the floors had started to buckle. Let's head right out to Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo. He is joining us live from Lindley Avenue, where dozens of people, Matt, had to be evacuated. Good afternoon. Janelle, good afternoon. That's right. Up to 60 people were forced to leave their apartments and rush outside. And right now, police still have a lot of roads around the building blocked off, like here at 13th and North Kamak Streets. Chopper 3 was over the scene a short time ago. You can see part of that seventh floor's wall has collapsed. Bricks are now scattered all over the road. But fortunately, no one was walking or driving by at the time, and police reported no injuries. Now, officials are working to figure out what led up to this partial building collapse in Logan that scared many of those who live here and were inside at the time this morning. I looked out the window and all we saw was the wires shaking. I felt a whole shake and we were like, whoa, what was that? What was that noise coming from? We thought it was the truck that actually hit the building or the side of the building, but we were like, whoa, we was just like, uh, we was just kind of nervous. We had to pause for a minute. We were like, whoa, uh, we don't know what's going on. And Eyewitness News has obtained some of the building's records through the Department of License and Inspections, finding at least a dozen violations since January. We're now digging into that and hope to bring you more starting on Eyewitness News at 4. We're now reporting live in Logan. Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Scary moments for people there. Matt, we'll see you later this afternoon. Thank you for that. And right now, people in 